Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2023 Jeep Wrangler 4xe, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Roadmaster battery charge line kit for towed vehicles. Before we get into that though, why don't we just take a minute, check this out and talk about why it's a good idea to run one of these. What a battery charge line kit is gonna do is really simple. Um, more or less, it's going to maintain your Jeep's battery whenever you're flat towing it down the road. And that's really important. Um, even though this is kind of a small part, uh, I feel like a lot of people forget about it, but um, it's really gonna be responsible for, for a few different things. Like I said, having a topped off battery is critical, especially in these, these late model cars where they have you know, electric assisted brakes and a lot of uh, you know, computer controlled systems um, that need proper voltage to work. So it's gonna do that. And um, it's also gonna keep your supplemental braking system um, operating effectively because the whole reason for it, you know, you are going to use some battery power when you are flat towing, and that's because uh, of those systems um, using the battery power whenever they're operating. And so what can happen sometimes, you know, you have a battery that's kind of on the fritz anyway, or, um, you know, whatever the case may be, and you're, you're flat towing for hours on end, you get to where you're going, go to start up your vehicle, and the battery's dead right um, and who wants to deal with that when you're trying to have a good time so having a charge line on here is going to keep it topped off and in good working order that way your jeep will fire up uh, whenever you go to disconnect the way this is going to work is uh, you know you're going to have a wire coming from your battery and the power's coming into it so it comes from a breaker here which the purpose of the breaker if you happen to have a short or anything like that you know it'll keep your system protected but the battery is going to receive power from the motorhome. So that power wire is going to run all the way down to the front of your Jeep where you have your cable plugged in. Now you are going to need a six-way round type connector to, to properly hook up this charge line kit. Um, and that's not really a big deal. This is a very common type that most people use anyway. It's going to receive the power from your motorhome seven-way and you are going to have to have a fully operating seven-way on your motorhome so the 12 volt auxiliary power the majority of motorhomes have that right out of the box um, some of them don't if yours don't uh, we do carry a motorhome charge line kit where you can set that up to be able to you know properly utilize that and get the voltage back here and in terms of this affecting your motorhomes batteries or anything um, nothing to worry about on that end uh, the 12 volt auxiliary power sent back here is kind of designed to, to do stuff like this. Um, and your motorhome has its own charging system, you know, using the, the alternator, it's going to keep those batteries topped off. So it has the amperage to spare and uh, no worries on that end. Other than that, um, kind of a no brainer, at least if you ask me, you know, it's going to keep your battery in good shape and all your systems operating correctly. So um, can't really ask for too much more as far as that goes. In terms of the installation, really not bad at all. Uh, essentially, it's one wire and a circuit breaker that you hook up, so it really shouldn't give you too many issues or take up a bunch of your time. If you'd like to uh, see how it's done though, feel free to follow along. We'll go ahead and get started on it now. To begin our charge line installation, we're gonna be working with our uh, six-way round connector plug that we previously have installed. And I, I do suggest doing this at the same time that you're doing diode wiring. Uh, while you're in here, you know. So what you're gonna do is take one end of the wire that they give you, just run it through your bracket where you have your, your uh, connector mounted up. And then I'm going to put it through our dust cover there. And we can strip the wire back to expose the Bare wire underneath the insulation, give that wire a twist, get it tight. And then on our connector plug, we're gonna be using the center terminal. All right, so you want to loosen up that set screw. Push that wire into place. And then tighten the screw down. And if you wanted to, you can um, come back with some sealers, seal all these ends up real good, and uh, put the dust cover on and, and mount this back up. 
I'm getting our sealer in here. This will just help prevent corrosion. Get our cover in place. And bolt this down. Our charge line, so here it is. That's just running right out of the back of our connector plug. And we need to get this up into the engine compartment uh, towards or by the battery, which is on our passenger side. And so what I did just ran our wire kind of behind our bumper there. And, you know, once everything's in place, we can come back and zip tie us up and, and make it pretty and uh, keep it secured. But wire's gonna run up and kind of kind of hug the frame there and go into the engine compartment. Up in the engine compartment, this is where our charge line comes up. And I got it routed, you know, towards the back of our vehicle uh, where we're gonna hook it up to our circuit breaker, which is this here. All right, and so there's already some circuit breakers and a little bracket on here from uh, a trailer brake controller that was installed. So I just utilized that, that piece there and mounted up our breaker. Um, you know, you're probably not gonna have this. You can mount this anywhere you see fit. Closer to the battery, the better. Now they give you a couple screws, you know, you can run into and, and secure it. But what you're gonna do is cut this wire to length, okay? Cause this is gonna get hooked up to the gold post on our breaker. And you know, when you're doing this, you're gonna have to have enough wire to go from here to our battery. So keep that in mind, you know, there's not a ton of extra wire to play with, but I stripped it back and you can take a small ring terminal, slide that on and crimp it down. And this is how all the terminals get, uh, get done. Good crimp on that. We'll remove that nut from the gold post. Slide the small terminal over. And then tighten this down. And we're gonna use a 3-8 socket. When we're tightening these down, uh, you know, you don't have to crank down on them by any means, just make sure they're snug good connection and then so I talked about cutting this a length and making a wire that'll go from here to our battery that's exactly what I've done uh, just small ring terminal on one end larger one on the other small one will go to our silver post so I'll do this do the same thing there to, to get this one on ran our wire right over here to the battery and I'm gonna connect it to this post I want to mention this post and this post, I added uh, nuts. They were just posts with no nut on it. Um, you can always use the same technique to do this one here in the middle. This one has a nut on it from the factory, but I like to kind of split things up. Got a lot going on here. I want to say this one was an M6 by 1.25, and I'm certain this one was an M8 by 1.25 uh, thread pitch. So if you want to pick those up, you can. But we'll go ahead and get this one removed. In our case, a uh, 10 millimeter socket will get the job done. And go ahead and get our ring terminal put over the stud. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Roadmaster battery charge line kit on our 2023 Jeep Wrangler 4xe.